Hey everybody, I hope y'all having a great day. I have a haul to share with you guys. I am finally getting into the fall fashion spirit. It's taken me a little while to get here, but it's finally getting just a little bit cooler, so I need to start transitioning into the fall fashion season, get ready for the cooler weather and stuff. So I've been trying to think more about what I'm wanting to wear this fall, and I've picked out a few things that I think will be good to like mix and match, just get me started, especially as you know the weather is transitioning and stuff. So anyway. Anyway, that's what I'm going to share with you guys. Most of it is from Wet Sill Plus. We recently got a Wet Sill Plus. Like, um, there was one day that like all these Wet Sill Pluses opened like all over the country, and we were lucky enough to get one here in Louisville. It's at Mall St. Matthews. If you are in Louisville, it's like right next to the New York and Company, so it's super easy to find by the fountain. So anyway, um, we went in there. My friend came to town, and I was excited to look in there. I'd never shopped Wet Sill Plus before, so it was a brand new experience. And oh my gosh, the prices! were incredible. I loved the selection of stuff. I thought it was really diverse, really nice. They had a lot of different ways to wear trends, like a lot of different, like, you know, wear plaid in a skirt, wear plaid in a shirt. It's flannel. You know, I got a shirt that's sheer but plaid. I mean, just like tons of different ways to wear certain trends that I thought was great because that way you can fit it to your own individual style, which I think is awesome because, you know, a trend doesn't really do me any good if it's not really something that fits with what I want to wear anyway. So I love that they've put some effort into making different ways to wear the trends. And um, I really loved it. The prices were incredible. And then they had like deals on top of that. So it was like good prices and then it was like they had a lot of stuff that was 50% off they had a lot of stuff that was like buy one get one for a penny like their clearance stuff so it was like crazy and then they had buy one get one 70% off like the regular price stuff like the second time I went in there so um so, I mean, I can't pass that up. That's incredible. So I'm pretty sure you're going to be seeing a lot of Wet Soul Plus stuff from me in the future because I'm I'm really into it. And um, I thought the quality was good. I mean, especially for the prices. I mean, incredible. Anyway, I'll share with you guys what I got from there and then a few things from like Target, Marshalls, that kind of thing. So the first time I went into Wet Soul Plus, I ended up buying two skirts. My friend came into town and we went in there. And um, the clearance rack had a lot of gorgeous like tops and skirts and dresses and everything. But I love a good skater skirt. It's like one of my favorite cuts for a skirt. So I saw some that I liked. They were like $10.99 and then of course the second one's a penny. So I ended up getting two for $11. That's crazy. But uh, anyway, let me share with you guys what I got. Of course, I got a black one. I was laughing because I, I told my friend, I was like, I know I have like 935 black skater skirts, but they're all different. There's all something just a little bit different about all of them. So can't ever have too many of them, I guess. So I got this one right here. It's got kind of a wide waistband, which I think is cool because I think you could wear it and set it like higher on your waist and then like a cropped sweater would look good with it in like colder weather or I mean you could fold it over if you wanted to and wear it like that, which I think is also great. I just, I love that waistband. So anyway, it's got that. It's got like a nice texture to the skirt as well which I think is going to be great in like winter time just the way it looks. I mean, it looks really nice. So I think it's going to be perfect for fall. And then, of course, it's got like that flared out design to it that a skater skirt has, of course. And I'm obsessed with it. They had this in uh, other colors, too. So who knows how many I'm going to have by the end of the month. I don't know. <laughs> but probably a lot of them. Um, I'm not going to try these on right now because I know I'm wanting to do like a fall lookbook and so it's going to encourage me to do it and keep me from like showing, you know, the same outfits twice. I'd rather just wait and like style them and present them all in a nice pretty little package so I'll be doing that really soon too. Then the second one I got is black and white. It's like a floral. It's just got like roses on it. I thought this would be great because I could wear it with black or white, of course, or I could also just wear it if I wanted to wear like a red sweater with it or a red cardigan or a blue or something. Like it's very diverse. A lot of things you could do with this one as well. And um, it also has like a nice texture that I think is going to be great all throughout the year so um, I can wear it now with sandals and then I can wear it with tights and boots I mean just it's gonna be really cute I think all year long so I try to think about that when I'm picking stuff out so that I can get the most wear out of it then on my next visit to Wet Soul Plus they were having the 50% off like a lot of the stuff one skirt I saw that I was in love with ended up being 50% off the second time I went in there so I was like yay lucky day so I got it and then I got another top that was 50% off and then I got a couple of things that were the buy one get one 70% off deal so I got um, another skater skirt this one is plaid it's blue and black plaid and I thought it was great it's got another um, 
really nice kind of texture to it that I think is going to work really well in the fall and in uh, the winter with tights and stuff and I just love it because I feel like that's more me like as far as like the plaid trend goes I'm more likely to wear like a little cute kind of plaid skirt I think that fits with my styles and then I got a black top a black lace top that was also 50% off and I thought this was another thing that's really great I could wear it with any of my skirts or I could pair it with jeans or you know whatever I wanted to pair with it if I need to put a cardigan over it um, the sleeves are a sheer kind of lace so they're going to be easy to layer it's not going to be like a lot of bulk or anything and then I also like that the sleeves are a little bit longer I mean it's a short sleeve but it's not going to set up here because like when it's fall I don't really want a sleeve that's like a cap sleeve or like a super short short sleeve you know so I love the length of the sleeve and then I just think the lace is nice I love lace so it's just lace all throughout and then the um, sheerness is just on the sleeves so I think that's going to be a really great little top to wear and I love the length of it like it's a little bit longer than um, some other like tops I see that was one thing I really liked about the store was the length of the tops because I know a lot of you all are a lot taller than me and sometimes I'll get like the junior shirts and you're like Leslie that shirt is so short on me like what in the world but it's not like that short on me but these are a little bit longer so I think you guys will really like them and then with the buy one get one 70% off deal I got a plaid shirt and um, it's red and black why are there fireworks outside? I guess they're excited about my shirt or my wet still shopping experience. Anyway, red and black plaid. I love it. I didn't get a flannel because it's still, like I said, warm. So I thought the sheer would be the way to go. I can put like a little cami underneath. And then as it gets cooler outside, I could put like a long sleeve black shirt underneath it or whatever I need to. So I love, love, love it. And um, it's a little bit longer too. I think it would be cute with leggings, but and it's got just the button up, the two pockets, that sort of thing. The long sleeves, you know. Just looks like a regular button up shirt. It's just red leg plaid and sheer. And then to take advantage of the buy one get one 70% off, I got a sweatshirt. But it's just not like your basic everyday sweatshirt. This one has some really cool, unique kind of style elements to it that I love. So I got this, um, and you can see the neckline of it is a little bit wider, and then it's got like a contrasting color, which basically looks like the inside of the shirt, but I thought it was neat. And then also it's got that on um, right here where it's cuffed, and it is cuffed, so another cool little aspect of it. And just, I love the contrasting look of the colors together. And then it's got that on the waistband as well. And then the other thing that's super cool about it is on one side it does have... A zipper, if you can see. So it's just got like a zipper on the left side by the waistband. So just something, another unique little unexpected element that makes it, you know, something probably a fashionista is going to gravitate towards. And then at Target, I picked up two shirts, and um, I wasn't expecting to find some shirts that I wanted to get in Target. I was going in there for other stuff, of course. That's how it is with Target. But anyway, so I went in there, and then I saw um, they had just like these shelves of cute, like long sleeve tees with all kinds of different graphics on them. So I picked up two of those because they were like $12.99, which is a great price for Target because a lot of times I feel like their tees and sweatshirts and sweaters are a little overpriced or, you know, they're at least usually like $20, $25 or something. So I thought these were a great deal. I picked up this red one. It's got the H on it and it says Harvard. And then um, these are really lightweight too, which is nice right now because it, you know, like I said, it's a little warm still outside. It's kind of on the edge. It's getting cooler. But anyway, long sleeves to it, just basic. These were um, right up front, like the junior section. Got the extra large, but I mean, they're made bigger and I mean, they'll stretch too if you need to stretch a little bit more. But got that one and then I got a black one that just has Marilyn on it so that's what it looks like Also, I'll share with you guys a couple of pairs of shoes I got recently and um, last weekend I was shopping with my mom and I was just you know just dying to be wearing any other pair of shoes than the ones I were wearing because they were very uncomfortable after a while so um, my mom got me these cute little ballet flats from New York and Company that were super comfortable they're metallic which I think is great and um, 
they just kind of, you know, stretch and fit to your foot how you want it to fit. And they have like the rubber sole that's very, very flexible. And these were on clearance. They didn't cost a cost very much at all, like a few dollars. And so I got these and then another color, but those um, are going to be for Christmas. She only let me have one right now. So anyway, I got these. They have like this little tiny bit of a like baby, baby heel to them, which is nice because sometimes if a shoe's like completely flat, like I don't like that either. I like a little bit of something there. But anyway, got those New York and Company. And then the other ones I got is another trend, the shooty. And shooties are like popular. Like I feel like every few years shooties are like incredibly popular and they're very popular right now. And that's like a cross between a booty and a shoe. This right here, a lot of times they have the open toe like these. These are Madden Girl. I found them at Ross, $14. I love the look of the wood heel, just like that contrast in color. I think it's great. And um, then these right here, the thing I love about Madden Girl is that they always have like the latest trends, but the heels aren't too high. And um, they're never uncomfortable. Like they're always very, very comfortable. They're always at like, they're very wearable. That's the word. Very, very wearable. So that's what I appreciate about Madden Girl. And so um, that's what these look like. They have a snap closure, which is very easy to open and close. And then on the other side, it has a little bit of elastic right there. So um, it's not going to be too loose or too tight on your on your heel or anything. It's not going to slide up and down. It's just going to fit the way it needs to fit and fit to your own particular ankle. So I like that. I think it's a great design, and these are very comfortable. So I'm in love with them right now. I wore them recently in my most recent outfit of the day. If you want to see it, it's on my Instagram. The link is down there, I'm sure. So anyway, you can check that out. So those are the things I've bought recently. I'm still trying to get in the mood. I've been looking at like fall trends and uh, looking basically at ways I want to wear them because that's the big thing for me is wanting to wear them with things that fit into the wardrobe I have and the wardrobe I want and the way that I want to dress myself because I don't want to get something that just you know isn't me or isn't something I really want to wear. I wouldn't wear a trend just because it's a trend basically. So anyway still trying to see what all I want to do with it. Should be doing a lookbook very soon. Have you guys been doing fall shopping lately? You can let me know like what you've been looking for or what you're on the look for what kind of things you're going to be into this fall because I mean I love talking fashion I could talk about it forever so feel free to share what you've been buying or looking for looking at whatever what you've been styling and um, anyway hopefully you guys have enjoyed this hopefully you're all having an amazing weekend and I'll talk to you guys again soon bye everybody